Here's an amazing way to chunk trim or delete certain chunks in your world. This makes them regenerate in the newest update, so you can get new terrain closer to your base and to where you are, getting rid of unneeded chunks so it reduces your file size, and you can have new features closer whenever a new update comes out. Here's how to do it. So here we are in a test Minecraft world, and if I turn on chunk borders here you can see I've marked out certain chunks corners with red, and certain chunks corners with yellow. This is to demonstrate how this certain program can very very easily get rid of certain chunks and not others. You see you can just delete region files in your world, but those are huge, they're 16 by 16 chunks, and it's likely that you want to be more fine tuning than that. Well I'm going to show you this amazing program called MCA Selector, where you can easily get rid of certain chunks in your world. So we're going to now open up this world in MCA Selector, and I'll be right back. So here's how to download MCA Selector. You want to go to https dot slash slash github.com slash court slash MCA Selector. I'll have a link for that in the description. This is going to take us to a GitHub page, which is basically a program sharing website. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to scroll down past all of this text here. You can read this if you want. Uh, it could be useful, but for what we're doing, it's not uh, that important because the program is very, very straightforward. So we're just going to scroll down here, and once you scroll past this, you're going to find this right here, Download and Installation. So I have a Windows computer, so I'm going to press this downloader, and when we click this, it's going to download an installer right down here, and it's just 10 megabytes, so it's quite a quick little download. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have this open, or what we can do is we can go here to our downloads right over here, and we can double click on this. Now you may get a pop-up for Windows, making sure that you do indeed want to run this program, and just saying unrecognized app. If you press more info, then press run anyway, that'll make it run. Then this window up here will pop up, and I would suggest this as it recommends as well, installing for your side only. Uh, then you can select any language you'd like, and I'll be selecting English, and we'll press OK. Uh, here's the license agreement, and we do accept the agreement. Uh, now we can select where we want to download. I think this is a fine location to download it to. So we're going to press next. And I do want a desktop shortcut, so I'll press that checkbox there. And we're going to press next. And again, we're going to uh, accept the installation right here. And now it's going to download. All right, it's downloaded. So what we can do is we can launch it and we can finish it. And you can see there's a little image of what it looks like. So once we've done this, it's going to launch it for us, and here's what it looks like. So what we can do is we can press here and click File, and you want to open World. So this is going to take us to your Minecraft Saves folder very automatically. I have a chunk trim test right here, that's what the world we were just on. And we're going to open that up, and you can see what happens. It's going to load up here, and you can see we can actually see an exact representation of that world. And what's so cool about this is that if you zoom in, you can even see things that you've built. And you can see this test word I put down, as well as these chunks I marked out. So basically, each one of these squares is a chunk, and it's super easy to do this. Uh, there's a couple functionalities for this. In fact, there's a lot of functionalities, including copying and pasting chunks, all kinds of interesting things, but today I'm going to focus just on the chunk trimming itself. Uh, one interesting thing here is you can go to Tools and then go Filter Chunks. Uh, you can use these if you want, but we don't need these. Uh, I'm going to add a group, and if you go to this and go Inhabited Time, and we're going to go to greater than one minute, and you can literally put like the word minute in there, or min, and we're going to press OK. Then it'll actually filter all the chunks, and so it looks like only here we've been, and everything else we've been there for less than one minute. So this is what you want to do, is just filter out certain things like that, and then just go like this, delete selected chunks, you can. I have had an issue where sometimes when I'm filtering things this way and delete it like that, it will crash. So something you can always do is you can just select uh, specific chunks. Now the way I'm selecting and unselecting this is I'm left clicking to select a chunk and right clicking to not. I can left click and drag to select a big area, or I can select it something like this, very interesting patterns like this. And then I can hold down right click and drag to unselect chunks. So let's say I want to keep uh, certain chunks and not other chunks. Well, it's very, very easy to do this. So I want to keep these red chunks and not the yellow ones. This is how specific you can get. Uh, so let's just pretend that our base is in the red chunks and not the yellow chunks. So we're just going to select the yellow chunks here. Go to Selection. Press Delete Selected Chunks. It'll say you're about to delete three chunks of this world. We're going to accept that. Now they're deleted. 
uh, now they're black for now but once we load up that place again uh, these deleted chunks will be right back uh, just as they were uh, with the new world generation now obviously because of the way minecraft works uh, this is going to be uh, exactly how the biome was before you did anything to it and because biomes haven't changed uh, for a very very long time uh, even older world aren't really going to change much when you delete certain chunks so that's how you easily chunk them of course we can always select big areas like this and we can delete them that way too now we're going to go back on our chunk trim test here and see if it did work. So we'll just switch over here. All right, and you can see the red chunks are there and the yellow chunks are gone. So these are completely new regenerated chunks. You can see they're right back now that we've loaded them in. And yeah, that's basically it. That's how you chunk trim. Now this program can work with uh, the nether and the end as well, of course. Uh, of course, on the nether, you can only see the ceiling, so it's a bit harder to mark things out. But overall, there you go. That's a very, very easy and simple way to chunk trim in Minecraft. If you enjoyed this video on how to use MCA, selector make sure to press the like button make sure to comment make sure to subscribe to see more content like this and i'll see you in the next video goodbye